Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to animate uh, the text that we did in a previous video. Uh, I showed you how to add text to your 2D scene and now we're going to animate the text. Uh, somebody, somebody suggested and I thought it was a great idea to show you how to animate this text. So there's several things that we need to take care of. I've got a scene set up and this is as far as we got with the um, how to add text video. We've added, I've added the text, I've converted it to grease pencil and I'm in edit mode. I can go to object mode here. This is object mode. And so the first thing we need to do is break up each letter so that maybe we can bring in this title uh, from the top and we'll bring in one letter at a time. But right now I can't because it's one object and it's uh, if I try to move it, 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 it will move the entire object. Uh, I cannot animate the individual letters. Now I could go into edit mode and select these and animate these uh, but I, I'm going to show you how to break them up into individual objects and that way you you'll have more control so let's get started I'm going to select the P and the first thing I want to do is break it up into its own object right now if we look at the uh, outliner there's only one object it's this whole play text uh, and so this if you go into edit mode and then you select all the vertices hit P and it will ask you to separate P separate okay boom and what that does is it will separate it into its own object this one text one is the P I'm going to change the name to P and then continue on with the other ones. So hit P, separate, and then this one is the L. L. I'm gonna select all of the A, hit P, separate. This one is the A. And then finally, the Y, P, and then separate, and then this is the Y, Y. And so this one we no longer need. We can delete, and then I've got the P, L, A, Y um, objects now, and I can now, in object mode, move them around separately. Uh, but you notice that if I wanted to rotate them, it's going to rotate from this origin point uh, or the pivot point. And so we want to make that pivot point uh, where we need it. Uh, in the last video, in the last video where I showed you how to animate uh, on a path, uh, since it was only one drawing, we just dragged that drawing onto the pivot point, and there it was. But now we're going to move this pivot point onto the P. And there's two methods that I would like to show you. The first method is you grab this uh, 3D cursor and you don't see it. You have to turn it on in the um, show overlays button. And there it is, 3D cursor. You can show it. You can place it wherever you want using this tool. Uh, in this case, I like to place it more or less in the center right there and then go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor and it will move oops i have to select the the object first object set origin origin to 3d cursor and then boom it'll move it to that 3d cursor uh, again with the l i need to select the l with the cursor i'm going to select right in the middle more or less and then go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor boom and the next method is you don't have to set the 3d cursor in fact we can hide it again 
get rid of it, select the A, and then go Object, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry, and it should put it more or less in the center. Select the Y, go to Object, Set Origin, Origin to, Geom origin to Geometry, and again, it's kind of the center. So now that we've got all of our origin points at the center of each letter, now we can animate and we can even rotate. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to have these letters drop from the top one by one and then to reveal the word play. So I've got each letter in the end position the end position this is where I want them to end at the end of the animation so what I'm gonna do is remember this is not a timeline this is a dope sheet I am going to reveal my timeline and I'm going to be at a frame 10 because I want it to last the letters should come down in 10 frames so 10 frames, this is where I want all of the letters to land on frame 10. Let's go ahead and click auto keyframe and then just move them to create a keyframe on 10. Now all of these letters have a keyframe right on 10. The beginning of the animation will be at frame one. I'm just gonna move them all up out of frame and now frame one. If I hit play, boom, they come in. That's it. Again, boom. And so that's awesome. But how do I make it so that one letter at a time comes in? And that's easy enough. Um, so at frame 10, I am going to select the L and I'm going to move both keyframes over 10. At frame 20, I'm going to select the A and I'm going to move both keyframes to frame 20 at the beginning. Y at frame 30, I'm going to move both keyframes to start at frame 30. So now if I hit the play, Hit play, boom, 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 boom. And that's it, That that's all there is to it. You can add a little um, bounce. Uh, that would involve us uh, putting more frames at the end for the bounce. You can bring them in from um, from the sides, from the, from the bottom. You can even rotate them, but you need to do it before you start moving all of them together because now you've got keyframes all over the place. and before you before you move them maybe we could do one letter here the p or the yeah the p at frame one i can add since i have auto keyframe turned on i will add a rotation and i will rotate it like this and so when it comes in, when it comes in, hit play, it will rotate. I'm going to end the animation at frame, let's say 50. I'll end the animation at frame 50. Hit play. And there it is. We've got a, we've got a rotation and the movement down. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, first thing is you need to separate all the letters, um, move the origin point, and animate. All right, cool. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.